As you create your documents, it is inevitable that you will run into times when you need to undo something you previously did. Let's take a look at how you can undo actions and, if necessary, redo them. When you take an action in Word, you can undo that action. There are two ways that you can do this. A lot of people use the undo button visible at the top of the program window. When I'm working with Word though, I think the easiest way to undo an action is to press Ctrl Z on the keyboard. For instance, let's say that you think that you should add some text right in here. If right after typing it, you think better of your addition, you can press Ctrl Z and Word undoes what you just did. All you have to do is hold down the control key and at the same time press the Z key and it undoes your action. The great thing is that this can work for other actions besides typing as well. Let's say that you want to make these words bold, but then you want to undo that formatting. I want to undo what I did. Again, control Z is your friend and you can use it to undo what you did. As you make edits or take actions in Word, the program automatically builds what is called an undo list. I'll take a few actions here just so I can show you what I mean. Now watch what happens when I click this down arrow right up here next to the undo tool. Word shows you all the actions that you've taken, one action per line. The most recent action you've taken is here at the top of the list and the oldest action is at the bottom of the list. When you click the undo tool or press control Z, Word pops the most recent action from the undo list and, well, it undoes it. Click the tool again or press control Z again and the next action is undone. This allows you to step back through everything you've done in the document during the current editing session. Now I mentioned that about the current editing session because it's important to understand that when you close a document, the undo list related to that document goes away and you'll start building the list anew the next time you open the document and start editing. Undo that, undo that. It's too late to undo it. If you become proficient with Word and start to use macros at some point, it's important to understand that running a macro will also clear the undo list. There's another interesting thing about this undo list. While you can undo one action at a time, you can also undo a series of actions if you desire. If you display the undo list and click on an action further down in the list, all of the actions between the top of the list and that point are undone. That's why they all show as being selected here as I move through this list. It'll undo all the work we've done. When you undo an action or series of actions, you can redo whatever it was that you undid. For instance, if I want to go back and uh, get rid of all of these actions right here, then Word places them over here so that I can redo each of those actions. I can click on this and keep clicking on this and notice the effect upon the document itself. Everything that I click on, every time I click on this tool up here, the action that was previously in the undo list, but that I undid, is redone. That's why when you hover over the tool, it says that it's redo. Now, quite honestly, you'll end up undoing actions much more than redoing them. I use the Control Z shortcut all of the time to undo either actions that I take or disagreeable actions that Word takes automatically. This is one shortcut that you'll want to commit to memory, as I'm sure you'll end up using it quite often as well. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click on the red subscribe button below. And after you subscribe, don't forget to click the bell so that you'll get notifications every time a new video is added to the Word Tips channel. Thanks for spending this time with me today.